Uh, we've, uh, I think we're going to be joined by Senator Padilla, uh, by WebEx. Uh, Senator Padilla, are you out there? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, I am here. You're welcome. welcome. Uh, Director Williams, uh, I was glad to see that the fiscal year 2023 budget includes increased funding for so many critical conservation programs, like the Cooperative Endangered Species Conservation Fund and for ecological services that support efforts to prevent Endangered Species Act a listing of species. Uh, I think it's critical that all of our federal agencies are well equipped uh, to protect threatened and endangered species. And while the Fish and Wildlife Service uh, is the primary agency charged with conserving fish, wildlife, plants, and their habitats, uh, I also respect that you uh, work collaboratively with other agencies who have their own important roles in recovering threatened and endangered species. Uh, in fact, the Endangered Species Act requires other land management agencies to carry out programs to conserve listed species. That's why I'm also pushing for increased funding at the Forest Service and the Bureau of Land Management for programs related to threatened and endangered species conservation programs. Uh, all that uh, to, to say the following. In my home state of California, we have significant amount of federal land that is managed by the Forest Service and BLM uh, that's home to numerous listed species. So my question, Director Williams, is this. Can you talk for a minute about how Fish and Wildlife collaborates with other agencies like BLM and Forest Service to better conserve and restore listed species and their habitat? Thank you for that question, Senator Padilla. And indeed, um, th that's a priority for me and for this administration, for the department, the Interior Department, and for the Fish and Wildlife Service. And I would say that it's uh, an area of focus where I've worked closely with my um, the bureau chiefs, whether it's the Park Service, the BLM, with other agencies, USDA, um, I work with them very closely and think that it's incredibly important. Um, and in fact, I think one of the hallmarks of this administration is that we have worked through some challenging issues and we've hit them head on. So um, I also agree with you in that I think this is an opportunity for the Endangered Species Act. Were we to have the capacity and yeah. adequate resources, we can be more proactive in our um, administration of, of Section 7A1 and 7A12 of um, the Endangered Species Act, and in being more proactive in how we work with other agencies in consultation and on their efforts on their land. So it's yeah. it's of utmost important of utmost importance we are doing it and I also think it's in where we can do more. Great. Well as, as a follow up to today uh not to answer right now but we'd love to uh, also hear what else Congress can do to support you and the other agencies uh in these efforts. Uh but in my time remaining I did want to raise one other specific uh, issue, and that is a uh, uh, place to see the service's attention uh, to the Lake Tahoe region uh, in the fiscal year 23 budget, particularly the work you're doing to prevent the introduction and expansion of aquatic invasive species uh, and to conserve native species like the Lahontan cutthroat uh, trout. Uh, in addition to protecting Lake Tahoe from the threat of wildfires, Removing and preventing aquatic invasive species in Lake Tahoe is one of the highest ecological priorities for the area. And as you know, the federal government owns and manages approximately 78% of the land within the Tahoe watershed, making federal involvement uh, in the region critical. Uh, we had a success uh, in uh, response to uh, the zebra mussels threat in 2009 uh, because of the successful watercraft inspection programs that were implemented. Uh, so the question is, how will the services budget request build upon the bipartisan infrastructure laws investments in invasive species management and continue to implement initiatives to fight invasive species in Lake Tahoe and protect native species? Thank you, Senator Padilla, for your interest in the Lake Tahoe region and in the leadership that you've shown on this issue. Um, so far, and as you noted, the bipartisan infrastructure law is a terrific 
uh, investment in this region and um, one that we are deploying strategies to um, really prevent the introduction and spread of aquatic invasive species. I've long been um, aware of and have followed the Lake Tahoe Aquatic Invasive Species Management Plan. Um, when I was in Montana, you know, we closely followed the efforts that Lake Tahoe had undertaken to try to prevent uh, invasive mussels there. So the bipartisan infrastructure law allows the Fish and Wildlife Service to really work and um, dig in and partner with our state and um, tribes in this area, especially for fiscal year uh, 23. So uh, I appreciate your leadership and think this is an important area and one where I think we can all working together make such a difference especially in preventing the spread of invasive species. Okay. Thank you very much. Looking forward to uh, our follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.